I think COVID-19 is really the best thing to ever happen to socialists. I think it's better than climate change, right? They love climate change, right? Because climate change let them create this boogeyman that the government needs to save us from. And all these new big government programs, these Green New Deal programs, they're all couched in that language of we got to save the environment, we got to save the planet, right, from, you know, climate change. But really, it's a distraction. It's trying to give a benevolent purpose to what they want to do, which is, you know, increase the size of government, have, uh, you know, lessen individual liberty and freedom and have a, a stronger a central government uh, that, you know, that they control. And so when they can claim that, oh, we need all this government because otherwise, you know, we're all going to die from climate change, that, that provides the motivation because otherwise people wouldn't agree to it, right? People who oppose the socialist program, uh, if you don't have the climate change their aspect of it, they're, they're not going to go along with it. But once you tie it to climate change, say, hey, hey this, this is necessary to save the planet, right? The government is going to save us from this menace, this threat. But the only way we can do it is if we, you know, pass this agenda, you'll get people to support that agenda who, absent the threat of the climate change, wouldn't have done it. So the, the leftists, the, the socialists are able to use environmentalism as a way, a backdoor way to get in socialism, to get in more government because they hold it as, as the solution. And of course, they blame climate trades on capitalism. Climate, So it's greedy corporations that are causing the climate change. They're destroying the planet just to make a buck. And so it's the government that's going to save the planet and we're going to do it with socialism, but don't, don't mind that, just, you know, we're going to save the planet and it, it works. But I think COVID-19 is even better, right? I mean, climate change is going to take a back seat to, to uh, COVID-19, right? Because I think this is a, a threat that people can see more clearly. I think there's still a lot of people that didn't necessarily buy into the whole climate change or whether or not it was man-made or how it would impact us or if we could even do anything about it. Right? Even if we changed our lifestyle and the rest of the world didn't, it wasn't even going to matter. But I think this COVID-19, this is a threat that a lot more people can appreciate, wrap their arms around and really understand because they've heard stories, people have died, right? And, and, and now we've had all of this, you know, scare tactics, fear mongering about this particular disease that a lot of people are very, very nervous about catching it. And you've also created a situation where a lot of people now are financially benefiting from the disease because they're not having to work or they're not having to pay rent, uh, but they're getting checks from the government that are bigger than the ones they used to earn when they worked honestly and got the check from their employer. So you're you're creating a big government threat, right? Or a big threat for the government to protect us from COVID-19, right? This pandemic, we're all going to get sick and die, right? Forget about uh, climate change that's going to kill us eventually, COVID-19 is going to kill us right now. And so we really need socialism. We need complete government control. You have to surrender all of your rights to the government in order to be safe from this disease. And people are buying into it, especially if you're also bribing them at the same time. Hey, give government all this power, surrender all your liberties. And by the way, you're going to get $2,000 a month. Oh, and your wife's going to get $2,000 a month at your kid. You guys are going to make a lot more money. Just make this deal with the government. Just give up your freedom and your liberty and you're going to make all this extra money, right? And people are dumb enough to buy it. So I think the left is going to milk this crisis as long as they can. You know, they want to delay any kind of so-called reopening as long as possible. They want to elongate the crisis so they can have a bigger opportunity to grab more power and deny more in individual liberty and to get more and more of the socialist agenda through Congress. Now, some of the Republicans may, uh, you know, be against this. They may stop this from passing while Trump is president. But obviously, if the Democrats can keep the crisis going, keep the fear alive long enough to elect uh, Biden and a Democratic Senate, then all of this stuff is going to pass in 2021, right? All this stuff that the Republicans are are blocking because they have the Senate, right? Assuming they continue to block it which I'm not sure they will, but whatever they do block will be unblocked when they lose the Senate, right? And if, you know, we still have the fear, right? Because this, this uh, you know, COVID-19 is really allowing 
uh, the socialist agenda to gain even more traction. It gives the left a very, very easy lane, right, to divert people into um, about this. And so they're going to keep playing this up. And it's a very, very scary time, not just because of the economics of it, but the politics and the politics are ultimately going to drive the economics because the politics are going to make it worse. They're going to put more pressure on the Fed to print even more money. 